this is what my monthly planner is, looks like. I the money is not going to come right away. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new video. So this video is going to be a little different than like just my normal vlogs because I'm going to be showing you guys like a work week in my life because usually I film and what I film is like the fun stuff like when I go out when I want to talk but I never really film like specifically like what I do exactly for work okay so I'm just gonna like give you guys a idea of what I do one I am a youtuber like that's how I make most of my income it can sustain me full time I don't really have to do anything else at the moment like if I just wanted to do YouTube I could that's my first source of income is my YouTube channel so everything that comes along with that and my second source of income is I do a background acting so I basically go in maybe like I don't know it really depends one week I can be there twice a week and then maybe one week I'm there once a week three times a week it really just depends on like <laughs> what kind of gigs I book and all of that kind of thing so i actually do really enjoy doing it and it's really fun for me and i do love like interacting with people meeting new friends and it's just, like such a cool industry to be in and i don't know i'm just really enjoying it right now so i'm just gonna do that until i just don't want to do it anymore and it also is the second source of income which is actually really nice too so it's kind of giving me the best of both worlds so those are the two things that i do to bring me in money that's like my two jobs although it does feel like this is like surreal that i can even say that i have youtube as my main source of income i don't even believe in myself you know it's like that surreal to me that i'm this lucky to have you guys watching my videos and it can be my source of income and i'm so thankful every day i just wanted to say that anyway so that's a little ow that's just like the little intro that i wanted to give you guys in case you're new to the channel or something but i do consider myself self-employed so that's a little background story on what i do and what's going to be in this video so let's just get into it so today is actually monday and it's 4 20 right now and i have not sat down and done any work today i honestly just had a really relaxing fun morning afternoon i guess because it's already 4 20 and some days are like that with me because i do need to film content for this youtube channel therefore if i'm at my desk working five days a week there's not much content to be filmed so some days of the week is based on getting content me going out me doing things and this afternoon this morning was one of those days where i do no sit down work i just kind of focus on getting content because you do need those filming days so yeah so that's what was going on this morning and now it's 4 20 since i haven't like answered emails today i haven't really looked over much um that's what i'm going to do right now i like to answer emails at least once a day and sometimes twice a day because if i get replies and i'll go back on it just really depends what i'm doing that day but usually at least once a day i'll answer emails um, except for the weekends I don't really look at my emails on the weekends but yeah so basically if you're wondering what emails like what are you talking about so if brands want to work with me and sponsor one of my videos they will reach out to me via email and there is like a lot a lot of spam emails that I do get of like companies that are just like you know trying to scam me I just don't understand like there's so many scammers out there and you can totally tell by the way that the email is written when it's a scam so yeah, I haven't touched my email today, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And after I'm done answering my emails, I will let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm going to pop my blue light glasses on. I'm like editing and answering emails and stuff. I could be looking at the screen for a very long time. And the blue light glasses definitely like help the eye strain. Um, definitely worth it if you guys um, like work from your computer and are always like online. <laughs> currently 4 50 and i just finished sorting through my emails so that's all done and yeah honestly the way that i plan everything and the way that i stay organized is because of my ipad and i do not know literally what i would do without this thing like i do not know how i got through my day-to-day -day without it because this has been keeping me so organized i have all my content planned out i have what i need to do every day like for example today i'm actually filming three videos today not like a full video but for example i need to film parts of this video that i'm doing right now i need to film the regular vlog for today and then i also have 
more of a themed vlog that I got content for today as well. So usually I don't have like that many videos that I need to film in one day like to get clips for, but just the way that I'm, what videos I'm filming um, in these upcoming weeks, I just had to do that today. But normally I don't have to do that and I don't usually do that. But anyways, it can get very overwhelming with planning out sponsorships and making sure that they're spaced out enough so that you're not doing like a sponsorship every video because I definitely don't want to do that. But yeah, so I'm just going to go over like my planner for today. I don't have much table work today. Answering my emails is really the only thing that I needed to get done from my computer and then like mostly everything else today is just basically filming this is the ipad mini if you guys are wondering what kind of ipad i love like the little size it literally is the size of a notebook which makes it so awesome because i have the apple pencil too and i use the app good notes by the way i just love it so much so i have a notebook that's um for my weekly planner for my youtube video ideas and here i plan out all of my like youtube content like what videos i'm going to post during the week i have my sponsorship folder where i write kind of like the sponsorships that I'm getting, um, the briefs for the sponsorships, and then I have my monthly planner. So this is what my monthly planner is, looks like. I don't have anything written in yet because this is for February. And then I just got my drawings, which I just like to do like random sketches sometimes, and then my background work, which is like I write down all my bookings to make sure I'm getting paid correctly. And then I just have my manifestations for 2022, which I write down my monthly reflections and everything and my monthly goals and then i have like my yearly kind of manifestation board in here as well so these are like my separate notebooks i have within the app um it's called a good notes so yeah but anyway so yeah that's what this monday looks like and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay so last time i talked to you guys i told you guys that i didn't have any more work to do tonight but i lied because i didn't realize that i needed to edit my vlog for tomorrow because i'm not gonna have much time to do it tomorrow i just have spent like a few hours editing it and i'm almost done i just need to like input like the final touches and like rewatch it and everything so it's probably gonna be like another hour but um here's a little look at my screen so i got like the bulk of it done i just need to add a couple more clips that i still haven't edited and then do the intro the outro and then just like add the final details and stuff but it's mostly done <laughs> Thank you. How are you? It's going really good. Thank you. How about yours? <laughs> okay, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, so I just wanted to give a rundown on what I did today because I didn't really show it because I was filming. I had to film, like, it was a sponsored video, but I already wanted to do that video. So I was just kind of running some errands and I was filming a health vlog so yeah i basically like wrote down what i wanted to incorporate in the video and i did some errands went out and just kind of did my thing because i do want to get back on a nice health routine so i kind of started that up and then i did film a sponsorship and honestly a lot of people were being like noisy in the kitchen so i went up and did it in like we have like a loft so i just like was like you know what too many people home right now i need to like i can't film this here like we need to go in a different space and that's why i'm so excited like when i eventually hopefully near future get my own place with joel it'll be easier to film because it's not like i'm gonna have people that are <laughs> gonna be like occupying not saying like i'm ungrateful that i live here for free like this is my parents home and i'm so grateful but it will be nice once i um do move out i can kind of have more space to film and i don't need to worry about people i live in a house of six people so it's like a lot you know sometimes like when i want to film it's like people are in the space and i don't want to do it in front of them and so it could be tough sometimes but i, I don't want to complain because i am so grateful but i'm just putting that out there that for example for the sponsorship um people were being allowed in the kitchen people too many there's too many people around where i wanted to film so it's like you know what we're just gonna go do it in this in a separate space and it'll be fine but yeah so i did that yeah so today was basically just like a filming day that's what we did hello you guys so it is currently wednesday and today i have to do a covid test for the movie industry because i'm gonna be on riverdale later this week um so i'm doing a covid test today covid test tomorrow i'm gonna head there now it's 21 minutes away from where i am now um this morning i didn't do any work it's one two o'clock and I just had a dentist appointment. So yeah, now we're heading to the COVID test and then after that I need to edit a video and submit it to a sponsor because I wanna get it approved for Friday. So I hope that it can be approved for Friday because that's the video that's going up Friday. So if it's not approved, I don't have a video. That's why 
I need to like get on top of it and get it done as soon as possible and submit it so yeah when I get home I'm just gonna finish editing it I edited most of it last night but I just have to like add in a couple clips and then do like the final touches so it shouldn't take me too long but let's go get the COVID test Okay, you guys so i just finished editing that video that i needed to get done and i submitted it to the sponsor now i'm just waiting for a reply and hopefully they reply by tonight or tomorrow because sometimes the time zones are different but hopefully i get a response by friday which is when i want to post it i feel like it should be fine so basically what happens with sponsorships if you, you have to like send it to the company and then the company is gonna either approve it or they're gonna tell you what they want you to change or there's gonna be like little things you gotta you know change if they don't like it so i just really hope that they just approve it and then it's like smooth sailing you know i really try and like read like the outline and about their brand beforehand so that like i have a good idea you know of what they want i've been planning my uh sponsorships through my ipad and just like writing down a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna help me and like just to make sure that i'm like talking about what they want me to talk about but also incorporating like my thoughts of the product into it and also before i take any sponsorships i make sure that i try out the product because if i don't then that's like very unauthentic that is a little rundown i'm just about to go to bed because i'm literally exhausted and yeah but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow because we're going for a covid test <laughs> So it's currently Friday and it is currently two o'clock um, and I'm just leaving for set now. I have no idea what time I'm going to be done at. Like we never get an end time. It's just kind of like a start time and then whatever time they wrap you. It could be two hours. It could be 12. It could be 14. It could be eight. Like you never know. So it's very unpredictable. So I have no idea how long I'm going to be on today. It is a Friday night and usually I don't like working on set on a Friday night. But you know what? I love Riverdale so so much like i love their set so much that i don't even give a shit because it's gonna be fun and we're gonna have a good time so i'm just leaving right now and i'm gonna be back monday as well but anyways i gotta get going and yeah i just wanted to update you guys i will pick up the camera when i'm done no idea when that's gonna be so i will see you guys later it's only like a 25 minute drive which is like so good it's not far at all so see you guys later so I also forgot to mention that um, it is Friday and usually I post a video today, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to post one because the company that I sent my video into has not approved the video yet. Like they haven't said anything about it and they haven't approved it yet. Therefore, I can't post my video today, which is really a bummer and it makes me really sad. But you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to stress about it because everything is meant to flow the way it's meant to flow. And once you look at life with that perspective, it's like you don't stress as much. So I'm just whatever. I'm, it's going to get posted when it's going to get posted whenever they approve it. And I just hope they approve it soon um, so I can post it at least next week. But we'll see. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't go your way and you just have to be okay with it you know it's fine so unfortunately no video today which is really sad but it's okay i just like literally hate not posting on my posting days it just makes me so sad because i love posting but it's okay anyways okay i'm actually gonna go now <laughs> Okay guys, so before I end off the video, I thought that I would give you guys like some tips because I get this these questions a lot of like um, how to start a successful YouTube channel or how to grow and everything. So I thought that I would just kind of sit down at the end of this video and give you guys a couple of tips in case you're interested. And if you're not, you can just leave the video now. So my number one tip is to be consistent. The money is not going to come right away. Being consistent is like literally the key to success 
within YouTube, if you're not consistently posting, then you're not gonna gain traction. The algorithm is gonna be in your favor if you start posting consistently, and that can also be just once a week. Like, it doesn't have to be like three times a week. It can literally be once a week, as long as you're like posting consistently. Don't post one video or two videos and three videos, and then get discouraged that you're getting no views, because that is normal. When I say that I had like 80 subscribers or even 30 subscribers for like almost a year, I'm not even joking you. Like it took me so long to grow, like so long. But the thing is, is that you can tell when somebody's doing YouTube for the money and you can tell when somebody's doing YouTube because they genuinely love it. If you genuinely love YouTube, then you're gonna keep posting no matter what, no matter what the result, no matter how many views you get, no matter how many um, interactions you get with your video, you're gonna keep posting. If you're doing it for the money, then I would say it's not the place to be for you. YouTube is not as easy as it sounds. There's a lot of work that goes into the videos and it's easy to be stumped on like what videos to post next and not be and to not be creative. And so if you're just in it for the money, let me tell you now, you're not gonna see results right away and it is gonna take a long time for you to build up um, your channel that it's actually making a substantial income and it does take a lot of hard work so that's why i say like i only suggest that you go into it if you're going into it with your heart and not with money in mind and maybe you don't know if you're doing youtube for the money or whether it's because you want to do it maybe you don't know and that is okay like obviously um you got to start somewhere so try it out and if you get <laughs> if you start posting a couple videos and you're like okay like i do not want to do this anymore then obviously um youtube is not for you but if you truly want to post your videos and you're consistently doing them you set aside time for it then if you keep going you will definitely gain traction eventually I promise like it, I know it takes so long but you will like I thought that I would it was like hard for me like I knew I was like I knew if I kept posting I would gain traction but it's like those first um, piles of videos that you're posting like gonna literally get no traction unless like you post it on your Instagram and you're like oh go subscribe but I didn't want to do that just because I just wanted to kind of grow organically but trust me it's gonna be so so hard to, to see results at the beginning some people do get lucky but it's uh, like 99 percent of the time you're not and it's gonna take hard work dedication consistency and you're gonna you need to be in it to win it not in it for the money you know you need to be in it with your heart my next tip is to work on your thumbnails put as much thought into your thumbnails as you do into your videos because your thumbnails is what people see right away like that's the first thing that makes them click on your video they don't see your video and then click on it they see your thumbnail and then click on your video so make sure that your thumbnails are um, really reflect what the video is about my next tip is being authentic because people really like relatability so like if you're having a bad day it's like don't hide that you're having a bad day like you can still pick up the camera and vlog just don't put on a fake face because people like to relate to you that's um how you're gonna gain like real authentic followers that want to watch your videos is because they relate to you and they like you and they want to see the bad sides they want to see the good sides so being authentic and being your true self i know it sounds really cheesy but it's true um that's how you stand out and that's how you be different from everybody else is just by being yourself on youtube like, if you copy the way that someone else acts on youtube then you're not original you know this is my last little tip if you're struggling on finding like what kind of content you want to post and stuff Honestly, I didn't even know at first. I was posting really random things and it took me a while to really find what I, like my own content and what I want to post and what content I want to create. It took me a while to find that and that is totally normal. Honestly, just, you got to start from somewhere. Like you got to start somewhere. If you want to post like a fashion video one week and you want to post a tech, like a tech video the other week, do both. Like when you're first starting your channel, I like this is, what I think you should do is you should just like experiment to see what you like to do and so if you want to do two op polar opposite videos I would say just do it at the beginning like it doesn't matter because you're still trying to gain an audience so just do it and then you will eventually find your groove and honestly at the beginning you can also look like to other youtubers as inspiration i'm not saying like copy them but you can look at them for inspiration and like if you want to do a video that's like similar to theirs you can try it out and see if that's your style see if you like it and slowly as you keep like trying things out and um keep making um videos you're gonna really realize and tune into 
what your real style of making videos is and how you are unique from everybody else and that took me like a while to find like what kind of videos I wanted to post like at the beginning of last year's when I really started to take YouTube seriously and I started to post consistently and at first I was just posting kind of videos that I thought would do well and just like random videos that I don't know I just didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do but now I feel like I have such a good grasp on the type of content that I want to post and what I love doing most and i promise you you will find it at first it's not normal to know exactly what you want to do unless you do but i would say if you don't know just experiment and you will eventually find it so yeah those are just my little tips that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video this was just kind of like an inside work week in my life that i wanted to show you guys what i do when i'm not like filming if that makes sense um i thought it would be cool because i kind of like seeing the behind the scenes as well so i was like you know what this would be a cool video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and just know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. If you want to become a YouTuber, then do it. Try it out. See if you like it and you'll see if like, honestly, I feel like one a really important aspect to life is to try out different things to really find what your passion is. So do that because that's literally is that's what's going to lead you to your purpose so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video